With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi, welcome to this video and the question is calculate the compound interest for the second year on rupees 4000 invested for three years at 10% per annum. So in this question we will divide this into two parts. In the first part I will take the case for the first year because the amount at the end of first year will act as the principal for the second year. Right. So at the end of first year we will calculate the amount. So principal here is rupees 4000. Rate of interest is 10% per annum and time we will take as one year. Now we will calculate the amount. So amount here will be equal to P in bracket 1 plus R by 100 to the power N. Now putting the values here in this formula we will get amount is equal to 4000 in bracket 1 plus R by 100 that is 10 by 100 to the power T or N. N here is number of times the amount is compounded. So here the value of n is only 1. So the amount here is 4000 in bracket this will give us 100 and this will be 100 plus 10. So amount here will be equal to 4000 into 110 divided by 100. So you can cancel these two zeros and at the end you will get amount is equal to rupees 4400 now this value of amount will act as the principal for the second year now let us take the case for the second year so in the second year we can write the value of principal as rupees 4400 the rate of interest will remain same that is 10 percent per annum and again the time we will take as one year because we will calculate the amount at the end of second year. So amount at the end of second year will be equal to again P in bracket 1 plus R by 100 to the power N. Now we will put all the values here. So amount is equal to P will be equal to 4400 in bracket 1 plus R by 100 that is 10 by 100 to the power 1. So after simplifying this equation we will get amount is equal to 4400 into 100 plus 10 divided by 100. Now from this you can get amount is equal to 4400 into 110 divided by 100. Now you can cancel these two zeros with these two zeros and finally we will get 484 zero that is 4840 so amount at the end of second year is equal to rupees 4840 now we just need to calculate the compound interest for the second year so compound interest for the second year this will be equal to compound interest for the second year I'm just writing here two compound interest for the second year this will be equal to amount at the end of second year that is we can just take it as a2 amount at the end of second year a2 minus principal at the end at the beginning of the second year that is p2 we can take it as p2 so you can just you can just take this p2 as amount at the end of first year because the amount at the end of first year will act as the principal for the second year so you can just take this as a1 so we can just take the difference of these two values so a2 is 4840 and a1 is 4400 so this will give us 0, 4, 4. So compound interest for the second year will be equal to rupees 440. This is the answer. I hope you have understood. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.